It's your boy Topic, and I'm back with another episode of Topic and Chill, man. Today, we gonna be rewiring my two DVC subwoofers. DVC stands for dual voice cords. Y'all see I got the Power Cube that got the 12s, Walmart subs, very affordable, Cubone Pro Box, very affordable guys, man. So y'all can go and cop these. So as y'all know, on the last video, I showed y'all the SCAR 2001D. I'm telling y'all right now, man, that amp is rated at 2,000 watt RMS, man. And like, just to be real with y'all, the amp kind of underrated because I watched on YouTube um, some dinos a couple of guys did. And man, I'm telling you, bro, like one ohm, the amp max out of like 2,300 RMS, true watt. These subs ain't even broke in yet. They just really been sitting up in the house and I just um, put them in the car about a month ago. Drill went out on me. I didn't charge it at all. So man, we finna go the old school way. The trusted Phillip head. It's gonna take a little longer, but you know, you do it with your hands and make it stronger. That shit was way good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> gonna take these subwoofers out so I can rewire them from four ohm to two ohm. Got all the screws out the subwoofers. Now I'm finna show y'all guys what series wiring is with two dual voice core subwoofers. As y'all see, with series wiring, this is a dual voice core subwoofer. With the series wiring, what you do is you cut one side completely off. That's connecting one wire from the positive lead and going over to the negative lead. So when you connect these two together, guys, that completely cuts the power off one side. That leaves you with what would be equivalent to a single voice cord subwoofer. And you will only use the negative lead from one side and the positive lead from one side. So if y'all see that, man, y'all just stop the video and, you know, look at it once again. Series wiring with two dual voice core subwoofers. This is what you get on each sub. Completely disconnect one side and wire your other side up as if you would do on any regular subwoofer. Positive, positive, negative, negative. When these wire straight to the amplifier, I do run them through the box. This is the right way to wire a dual voice cord subwoofer for the two ohms. As y'all see, I got the positive going over to the positive. As I said, I had a red tape right here. We had a positive lead going on out and we crimped it on the end with a connector. And we have the negative lead going all the way over to the negative side. And as y'all see, the negative wire. I had to um, get the drill a little charge. Y'all remember, right to tight, left to loose. Always. You know what I'm saying? Then you go cross them, go to the other side. All right, here we go. So we got the power cues. We got this right here. We got the SCAR amplifier for the subs. And we got the 1600 watt um, rocker file gate. That's for the mids and the half right there. What I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna install the fuse on here. Bad the cayenne, you feel me? We go, you know, just get some nice beat, you feel me, for y'all guys, so y'all can see really what's going on with the system. I'm pretty satisfied. I just wanna, you know, get my batteries and things so my lights can stop dimming. That's the only issue I have, but other than that, um, for it to be a 2,000 watt RMS system pushing, man, it's good for me because I love my highs and my mids. So guys, I can't find my, uh, my crimping tool, but I'm gonna use some pliers, and once I get disconnect in place where I want it, then I will come back with the grips and I'ma uh, kinda crimp it down. So it's just the, it's the same way, but you feel me, it just ain't gonna have a crease in the middle that's going into the wire, but 
I'm gonna still get it done, so y'all check me out. Y'all just check your boy out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have faith in me. Y'all have faith in me. Now we'll come back. These bad boys, we go. You know what I'm saying? Go get a good, get a good squeeze, man. Go get a good squeeze. Until we can get it all the way. Oh, no. Let's see if we can get a little bit more tighter. Yeah. Kind of go like this, guys. So, boom. And we'll come back later and put these on. Feel me? So, that's one end did. It's not going anywhere. Secure. Put that out the way. We'll focus on the other end right here. This is the most important step, though, man, y'all. Utilize these grips, man. Go snug it right there. You know what I'm saying? Let me let y'all see. 200 watt amp fuse installed. We got that installed. Um, and guys, we go do these probably this weekend because I have to um, go. I'm gonna get a drill bit and I'm gonna figure out why I want to ground for the big three. We got the wire in the house. And we're gonna go to the store and get some more of those zero gauge connectors right there. So that's how everything gonna go, man. I just want y'all to stay tuned. And we finna go and get up into this demo, man. Top and show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what the twelves will do a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm let y'all hit a high too. I got um four six and a half spar um two-way uh speakers, and I have two tweeters at the back, guys. Y'all skewed the cars a little mess in the inside. So, man, I'm going to get y'all right like this.
that just was like a little bass demo. Them the two got the twelves on a Scar RP two thousand one D. And uh, that's what I'm working with now. That's before the big the big three upgrade. That's before I installed the reducers and the splitters and the battery. That's before everything, guys. So y'all just continue to walk this journey with me, man. And I'm continuing to post videos for y'all. It's your boy Topic, man. Now y'all know how to wire two dual voice core subwoofers from four ohms to two ohms y'all like y'all comment y'all subscribe y'all tell me what y'all think about the system it's still in the making guys i got a lot of things i gotta do a lot of things be coming up so man y'all just stay locked in y'all stay tapped in topic